All right, let's talk about Friday. It's now time for Ask the Expert. You know, it is all about door busters, savings, getting big deals, bargain shopping, and Finding chaos. the deal. <laughs> Finding, yes, the art of the deal. The local financial professional Brad Allen from WealthWisconsin.com is here with your Black Friday financial survival guide. You have it. Survival all right. of the fittest. So uh, where do we need to start? Well, it's, it all starts before shopping. Okay. Right? okay. So we should have a holiday budget. Which you just put in the You're names just of taking people. all the fun out of right, right. there now. Huh? Budget every week, right? right. But you this made is, this it important. easy because where can I find this budget? WealthWisconsin.com. You can print it right off. Just okay. name who you want to buy gifts for, how much you want to spend. It keeps track of every, sure. everything for you. All right, you oh, got so, the phone there. Okay, so after we do that, mm -hmm. we've gotten who we want. What should shoppers do next before they hit the stores? Well, I would, I would definitely look at your phone. Every store has a website. Every store has an mm -hmm. app that has coupons and all this kind of stuff on it now. So before you go, check out the website and see, what's on, uh, see what kind of deals you can get ahead of time maybe you can order it online maybe it's cheaper just to ship it that kind of stuff okay, okay. yep you got an envelope there i do in the envelope, an envelope is for, for cash ah. so i would I, you know i always recommend people just bring cash with them to go shopping mm -hmm. right that way you're not swipe it's so easy to swipe a card right. over and over again you don't see it till the, the bill actually comes in so taking cash and just having that cash and once the cash is gone it's gone Okay. So you have to you have to kind of divvy it out and, and, and use that budget a little bit more carefully. What do you got here? This is for when you're at the store. So okay. number one, we want to ask questions. So we I have the, some different flyers. Bring in the flyer, ask where things are, <laughs> you know, ask if they have any more in the back. You know, that way it's just a quicker process, but also ask other customers where have they been shopping. You know, maybe there's a great deal in another store. You're you looking for this exact, in this exact whole thing. Yeah. And, and maybe you haven't heard about that. So just ask a lot of questions. Okay. And, this, uh, okay, yeah. The, the, the toy here, this is going to be look for deals outside of holiday shopping. So maybe your kid has a, a birthday in March. Sure. Right? Yeah. But uh, this is 50% off right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Getting so gifts getting it now outside of the holiday. The rest of the year. Yeah. Right. So and this, this uh, folder right here, this Always is an important receipts. folder, right? Yeah. right? Keep receipts just in case you have to take anything back. But also, if you go to another store, you see exactly what you bought at another store. The other store that you bought the gift at, and it's cheaper, you can take that receipt back. Maybe they'll match that price. For Which you. goes right back to what you said in the beginning, Charles, the art of the deal. It That's is right. the art of the deal. The important thing, though, if you're going to use cash, if you're going to budget, mm -hmm. you really should start in January setting aside X amount of dollars, right? So in December, you don't push That's up where that. That comes in handy. You know, too. he's you not the free spirit the yeah. <laughs> in the and relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you can look back at the receipts from last year, see how much you spent, then you can kind of have an idea of what to save throughout the year. Right. That's a good point. So, Shannon, will I be on the top of the list or the bottom of the list? You'll be on the list. Uh, that's good to know. At least I'm Now, will I list. be using cash or <laughs> thinking about January next year for you? <laughs> All <laughs> right. <laughs> if you have a question for our expert, we do have the number right there for you to call or just leave a voicemail. 